How to fix Filmora 12 not responding? Are you having trouble with Filmora 12 and it's lagging so much on your PC? Then we have some uh, solutions written down here and in the video we will explore all those settings. And another thing if you have a low end PC which is obviously for me so uh, if you have a low end PC also we have some uh, files to improve your performance on your PC so uh, stay till the end we will give you that file also so let's get dive into the video so your Filmora 12 is crashing so much and it's doing like not doing his thing okay so you want to fix it so there are so many ways that you can fix it so let's start with the number one so first thing first you can fix it with like you have to check that your virtualization is on or not for that you have to go to the tax bar and cl right click and then go to this task manager okay after that as you can see in here we have a performance tab so click on the performance tab then as you can see in the cpu section click on that so in here it's written virtualization so make sure that it's enabled if it's not you have to go to like you have to turn off your pc and then go to the bio settings to like uh, enable this virtualization there are so many videos on youtube you can check them out like uh, all of the motherboards it's different kind of way to start virtualization or enable it so uh, first enable your virtualization okay in the second we have upgrade power plans so what is power plan so for that first you have to go to this search button and then search for power okay as you can see there's a thing named choose a power plan just go for it so in here you will have four options or three options that says balanced automatically balances performance with energy blah 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 so if it's in balance give it in high performance so there is another thing named ultimate performance so uh, probably you won't see this ultimate performance option in your PC so if you want to enable it you have to uh, go to this window and then right click and then in here you will see uh, windows powershell and in bracket it says admin just click on that so okay after that a cmd application will pop up on your screen and then you have to type a thing in here what we are just giving in the description just copy and paste it with control V okay so it says power CFG minus duplicate scheme E9A42B02 whatever it's written on the description just copy and paste it and then you have to just click on enter okay so my uh, ultimate performance is just enabled so it won't work for me if I press enter okay as you can see it says so many weird numbers and then it says ultimate performance in the bracket okay so after you did that you will probably see the ultimate performance in this control panel hardware and sound and then power options so it may be like seem like this you will see an option named show additional power plans additional plans just expand it and then select the ultimate performance from here so in this way you can enable the ultimate performance okay here goes two what we have in three is fix graphics settings so for that you have to go to your settings okay then in the find a settings button you have to search for g r a p h i c x s c d d i n g s this graphic settings option okay you just click on it okay so in here as you can see I have added Wondershare Filmora in here okay so if you want to if this graphic settings is off your Filmora won't run that fast okay 
so you have to uh, enable this graphic settings and then in here you can add multiple applications to improve their graphics okay so click on this browse option and then select your uh, application from here as you can see I am choosing after effects so in the desktop you have to select your thing and then click on add and it will add it okay so after adding as you can see there's a tab named option just click on that so now in here you have power saving let window decide and high performance so if you give on power saving then your internal graphics card will be used which is for me hd graphics 4400 so if it's in power saving mode then you might lose some uh, performance on filmora so uh, give it to an uh, ultimate performance to get the higher performance so i'll select the high performance which is my gpu nvidia geforce gt 1030 so just select the gpu that exter that is external just select it and save okay so if you in case have nvidia graphics card then right click and go to the nvidia control panel okay in the control panel you will see so many options so for great performance uh, you can uh, choose this thing which sets to performance okay not quality it will prioritize performance more than quality so do that use the advanced 3d image settings so i have did it to the performance and selecting this then go to manage 3d settings so in here you can copy all my things that is in here for a better performance just do those things so as you can see in here it says power management mode you can click on prefer maximum performance for a better performance okay what we have next in here it says texture filtering quality you can click and select it to higher performance for a good one so in here as you can see there's another tab named program settings just click on that so this one plays a huge role of filmora if you have a graphics card then so as you can see uh, i have selected filmora in here if you are ha don't see filmora in here you have to simply click on this add button okay after clicking on add button there will be all your applications just click on your application and click on this add selected program as i've already have added so i'm not adding so after that as you can see there are so many things going on in here you can see low latency mode make it to ultra so maximum uh, frame rate so you can choose your fps from here another thing uh, OpenGL compatibility it says prefer comparable I'll give on prefer performance okay that was my okay uh, then we have OpenGL rendering GPU which is my GPU select yours one then prefer per maximum performance okay high performance okay like give all thing to high 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 okay so now we're pretty much done and click on apply to uh, make changes what we have next is a thing which is run regedit files in the description so we have provided a file in the description if you have low-end pc and don't have any graphics card then you can use that file instead of worrying okay okay after extracting you will have the file in here so if you want to fix your mouse sensitivity for gaming you can use those things so uh in the optimization section you will uh, see all those th things okay going on so if you click on high fps and click on yes then it will apply to your registry editor and make your pc a little more fast and if you go for latency and click yes like you don't have to manually say those things i have already did that and gave it to you so uh, it will be so much easier for you so this is fps optimization it will improve your fps then disable network throttling we done it manually uh, in cases but you don't have to do it manually now so enable high fps and then power throttling off run to make windows faster click on yes so all those things run all those things according to your needs 
and then monitor response time you can select your monitor response time from here so also we have extra optimizations which is registry adjustments this is my mouse thing so monetary latency low pc optimization just click on this and click on yes to apply if you have a low end pc in case so increase responsiveness apply that increase fps in games apply that gpu tweaks so apply all of those things for a better performance so as you can see uh there are so many things so one more thing you can do is disk cleaning up you can go for this disk cleaning and select your c drive and click on ok so after that as you can see there are so many files in my recycle bin and all of those things basically uh, more spaces are gone within your previous like previous windows upgrade so there will be an option for you which says previous windows update just click that and press on ok to delete all those things so it will uh, need some time to delete all those stuffs. So uh, if you delete it from this cleanup, then it will make your PC more faster. Okay. What we have next is turn on all cores. So for that, you have to uh, go to this window system configuration. Okay, this one. Just click on that and then as you can see in here you have so many tabs just click on this boot option then go for advanced option and then you will probably see it's like grayed out just select number of processors and then click 4 or 16 or 8 whatever you have i have dual core pc so uh i have four cores inside it i'm just enabling all of those cores and click on ok then apply then ok so the last thing which is upgrade your graphics driver which is you have to click on here and go for device manager and then in here you will see all of those stuffs just ignore all of them just click on this display adapters and expand it so in here you as you can see i have two graphics in my PC which is one of them is the Intel one which is built in and this is external graphics card just right click on your graphics card whichever you are using and click on this upgrade driver okay so uh, if you click on this it will search for like use those thing uh, the Windows upgrade thing to search for upgrade so let's click on search for upgrades driver on Windows objects okay it says optional quality upgrade available so uh, if you click on that if you have any upgrade going on your uh, graphics card then it will show up so another tips I have is go to this file and then preferences and then go to performance and you will probably see it's turned off just turn it on and select your preferred GPU from here and then click on uh, check this also on and then click on GPU check and in the GPU check just click on that start button so it will start to testing the GPU environment and it will fix some issues of your graphics card if it have so it will like balance it with the Filmora 12 so there was some easy tips and tricks how you can fix Filmora 12 not responding so those were some legit tips so i don't even saw any youtube channel says uh, this thing in those short at time so i hope this video was informative for you and thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video bye